Hello friend, in this video we will discuss why design for manufacturing manufacturability is important for product design. So in this video we are talking about the sheet metal so we will discuss regarding the sheet metal. So let's start the video. So you, you know that the design engineer should always design the part so that it can manufacture. So we need the manufacture, manufacturable product. So whatever things we are designing it should be manufacturable. In fact, uh, in fact, uh, the research you found that the manufacturer spend thirty to fifty percent of their time, thirty to fifty percent of their time by fixing the errors, and almost twenty percent of the error are related to manufacturability. And the reason behind the twenty four percent of the error related to manufacturability, manufacturability is usually the wide gaps between the how the sheet metal parts are designed in the CAD system and how they are actually fabricated on the shop floor. So uh, if you if a CAD engineer developing the 3D model for the sheet metal product so uh, but unaware, uh, uh, unaware of the uh, fabrication tool used for the uh, fabrication tool used for the uh, product or the part or the sheet metal part so if he if he don't know the how the product is manufacturing what are the process uh, we are using to manufacture this part what are the tools we are using so if you don't know these things uh, the error in the manufacturing will come definitely so uh, what uh, so what we have to understood here so we need to understand the function function of the part uh, some requirement of the feature and we need to understand the requirement functions and the how the and how the product is manufacturing what are the tools uh, they are using so we need to understand those things and we need to design the part so in the chart you can see that some ideal and the uh, ideal and the real conditions so we need to design our part by considering the real condition uh, so in the chart you can see that uh, uh, if if you are going to design the ideal part, you don't need to consider anything. You can design any part, and uh, you can see this one part I have created. But actual part in the real world. So if you, this part is going to manufacture, different factors are coming. So so that factor we need to we need to understood and design the part. So if you see if you see here, uh, specify the exact hole diameter and the spacing. The, the uh, tolerance value so here that uh, in the ideal condition we know no need to give the uh, tolerance and uh, so uh, variation we need to provide in the real world so some you know that the exact part we can't manufacture some errors will be there so we need to consider those things what are the variations what are the what are the variation you want in the product what are the uh, suppose this dimension is very so we need to apply the tolerance. So, so you can uh, you can see here, and uh, 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 we can design the part with the real condition by adopting the design for manufacturability strategy. So how? Because a uh, different company having the different design for manufacturability strategy, but uh, but the common things they are using is uh, they follow the design for manufacturability strategy. Uh, so that uh, the design, so that the part should be manufacturable. What are uh, what are the things included in the design for manufacturing? They uh, the things included in the manufacturability are uh, they will include the some guidelines of how the product is manufacturing. So you need to follow those word, uh, guidelines. Suppose the distance between the two uh, distance between the uh, two holes should be this one. And the diameter of a uh, hole should be this one, and the tolerance we are using should be these things. This tool under this tolerance we are uh, manufacturing this part. So these things, all these things, are uh, such a uh, technical things uh, included in the design for manufacturing, so that the part should be manufacturable. So with the design for manufacture manufacturability DFM, the designing uh, designer can consider the important manufacturability factor. While at a, uh, while developing the sheet metal design, so this reduces the possibility of error and the and also reduces the engineering cycle order, and it will fill the gap between real and the 
real and the act, real and the ideal world. So the design for manufacture manufacturability strategy focus on the simplifying the design and reducing the part part count or the uh, reducing the errors while the manufacturing. And a design for manufacturability also provide the insight on the developing the design and and the and easier to manufacture. So the uh, DF, uh, DFM or the design for manufacturing uh, manufacturability simplifies the things for the designer engineer designer engineer and uh, it will guide you guide you how the product is manufactured and how easily you, uh, easily uh, the uh, product we can manufacture uh, without error so friend we, uh, we have already uploaded the videos on design guideline of sheet metal if you want to learn you can check out this video also and if you like this video please like share and subscribe the channel and also you can comment comment your uh, topic in the comment section so thank you for watching keep learning and keep supporting see you in the next video